with the benefit of hindsight, what advice would you give to the young David McLean? So I'm really looking forward to this. That's the list he was going to give yeah, you before. Because I have <laughs> a list of 12 points. And uh, I wrote these years ago because I was convinced that my business was going to go amazingly well. There's going to be a movie about me. Idris Elba was going to play me in the movie. <laughs> fantastic. It's all sensational. I was really looking forward to it. And I wrote my top 12 tips for a startup, right? And so I'm going to give them to you now. Uh, number one, get a good lawyer. <laughs> a really good lawyer. Number two, see number one. Uh, number three, put your team first, right? And make sure that they're putting the company first. Number four, be honest about what you're not good at. Accept the competencies you don't have. Find people who have those competencies and then get out of the way. Uh, number five, uh, be always, always be mindful about why you started a business. And if it's just money, stop. Number six, engage with businesses that move at the same pace as you. Uh, I, that's so important. Um, the number of meetings I've been in where we think we've done the deal and this enterprise customer says, yeah, we just need to look at it for another three months and then we're gonna make the decision and then we might finally get there in six months and you have to sit there and pretend that it's no biggie when you really want that to happen faster. Try and engage with, with businesses that work at the same pace as you. Uh, number seven, be a true partner and um, go for category captaincy. Call out the best in your competition and then beat them. Number eight, um, believe, in the work, believe, believe in the worth of your products and your services. Um, you shouldn't try and sell a product to somebody else that you don't believe in. Why, why should, and people do that and I don't get it. I, I, I'm engaged with other startups and I talk to them all the time and people who are scaling up and I know they don't believe in their products but yet they're trying to sell them. I, I've never understood that. So um, you should believe in your products. Number uh, nine, don't be starstruck into poor decisions. I have met people, very influential people, very famous people, very wealthy people, who have um, engaged in me and said it's a good idea and, and um, just been absolutely starstruck into, wow, I can't believe this person is talking to me and therefore I should do whatever they say. And I had a horrible experience about that. It will be in the movies, so I can't share it with you now. <laughs> Hor horrible experience about that, but I've, the one lesson I've learned is I, I don't care who you are, I don't care how great you think you are, I'm, I'm not impressed. Um, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with um, deliverables, I'm not impressed with your legacy. Too many people pretend they did it all by themselves, it's just not true, we all know that. Uh, number 10, gotta, gotta read this a little bit. I believe that if you are in a, a business and you're starting something or you want to be an entrepreneur, you've got to embrace the struggle. And uh, uh, there's a great book by a guy called Ben Howitz, which is called The Hard Thing About Hard Things. And um, I encourage everyone to read it. Um, it has lots of rap lyrics in there you might not like, but he was just an enthusiast, but for me, I, I loved it. But he says this, he says, every great entrepreneur from Steve Jobs to Mark Zuckerberg went through the struggle, and struggle they did. You're not alone, but that does not mean you will make it. You may not make it, and that's why it's a struggle, but struggle is where greatness comes from. And, and I've always held true to that. There is, you know, we may not turn the corner, we certainly wouldn't have without the support of the ABGF, but, um, it's a struggle and you've got to embrace it. If, if you're not up for it and you don't have the ticker, is that the Australianism? If you don't have the ticker for it, shouldn't. Just don't do it. Uh, number 11, no is a full sentence. I've heard it from a number of you quite often. No, <laughs> no is a full sentence, right? And you've got to embrace that. And the last thing is I always remember what my mother said to me, which is that um, she's a beautiful West Indian lady and um, we're here for a good time, not a long time. And I think it's really important that I incorporate that in everything I do. Thank you, David. That was really beautiful. Thank you. Pleasure. We appreciate it.